Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, so we're going to continue on with uh, my uh, visit to my hometown and today we are going to go look at Bell Junior High. I spent uh, 1976 to 1979 here. So let's go. Alright, we are at Bell High School, Bell Junior High. We didn't call it Bell Intermediate in those days, they called it Bell High School. And we were the road runners. Uh, I see we got more fences here too. You used to be able to walk right up to the class here. You know, in fact, they'd uh, your parents could drop you right off here, come right through here, drop you right off here, and you could walk right into your classroom. This is like the sciences classes uh, in here. So I had my like biology and that kind of stuff in here. I did see that the gate was open on the back, so hopefully we can get in the back just like we did at Barker. So let's try that. Oh yeah, the office and more encounters with the principal. By the time I got here, I was riding my bike to school every day, so this is where the bikes were all parked. You locked up your bike here and stored it here for the day. I don't know what they're doing with it now. They've obviously moved that somewhere else. It looks like they just extended it as part of the field here. Used to be a gate kind of in the back there. They kind of keep kept uh, the kids from getting from the field into this area, but looks like they've torn that down now, and that's just all part of the to the uh, backfield area here. So this place doesn't change much at all either. It's pretty much the same except for all the fences. Um, over here used to be the uh, the music room. I was in the, uh, the school orchestra in those days. I played the clarinet. I don't know if this is still still the, the music building, but based on the fact they call it M1, I would assume that the M stands for music. So I spent a lot of time in there. And of course that was the cafeteria in there. Looks like it still is, because this is where you went in to get your lunch. And then that kind of fed into the cafeteria on the back there. I remember when I was in junior high, I was a member of the science club. And as a fundraiser, our science club would uh, made a deal with a local Winchell's Donuts where we would bring donuts down every day and we'd sell them out of this window for like a dollar a piece. After a while, we got to the point where we, we weren't using up all the donuts every day, so we'd store them in the refrigerator and sell them at half price the next day as day-old donuts. Now over here were the uh, metal and wood shop uh, classes. I took a metal shop, probably where I first started learning how to use tools, and that was actually right here in this room. Had the metal shop in this room and the uh, wood shop in the next room here. I never took the wood shop. I guess if I knew then what I knew now, I probably would have because I got more into woodworking than I ever did in metal. But yeah, learned my basic use of tools here. So one of the groundskeepers just kind of noticed I was wandering around here with a camera I wanted to know what I was doing. So, you know, I just explained to him, you know, I was here a few years ago. You know, I went to junior high here way back in the old days and, um, you know, just was kind of going around telling him I was doing a vlog and just showing everything here and he actually confirmed that that room that uh, used to be uh, the metal shop apparently they don't do that kind of stuff anymore that's just a regular classroom now so now we're kind of over here this is like where I had my math and my English classes I don't remember room numbers so I don't know if they've changed them the way they did over at Barker I do remember when these portable buildings were added it looks like they're still here <laughs> I do remember the first year I was in here, uh, the air conditioning didn't work all year, so it was always like, I always hated that class more than anything else, because it was always like 90, 100 degrees in that room when we do the uh, do our classes. So apparently this is still the library. It was a library back in the day I was here, so that's kind of a trip that that hasn't changed. And of course in the room right next door to it, that was where I had my first homeroom class uh, the first year and I guess they've expanded the library. It's part of the library now, but the first uh, first year and uh, first year I was in junior high in the seventh grade. This was my first my seventh grade homeroom. So I guess that's the Spanish class now. Don't even remember that Spanish and math, huh? Okay, this is over here between those portable buildings I just showed you a second ago and the old gymnasium. I guess this is where they park the bikes now. This used just to be an open area. And then this was, and it looks like it still is, the boys' locker room. And then the girls' locker room was at the other end. 
and this is the main quad area where we just kind of hung out during lunch. A little bit more branding around here than I remember there being. We didn't have things on the uh, on the sidewalk. Go Roadrunners! I remember this stage being here, but it didn't have the wheelchair ramp in the back, so they've obviously updated that somewhat. Kind of clever what they did with the uh, with the writing on the steps there. So I guess they've created some uh, this mosaic tile thing here they've been doing here. This wasn't here either. Uh, looks like it's all happened in the last couple of years though. Looks like from about 2018 on. And the whole uh, backfield area here uh, seems to be pretty similar to the way it was. The baseball fields were always there. I remember the racquetball courts there. We played a lot of handball and racquetball there. Actually learned how to play racquetball in there. And then kind of out in that uh, area, we called it the Field of Torture because uh, uh, every once in a while the the, uh, the PE teachers decided they didn't want to do any work there at that semester. So what their, what their activity was, they call it the 25 Mile Club. And basically what it was, you just run in circles for your entire PA period. And the goal was to see if by the end of the semester, if you could get, if you could run 25 miles. Yeah, I'll be. I'll admit that I cheated a little bit on that because what would happen is every time you'd come around, the teacher would just be sitting in a chair with a clipboard, and you'd write, you'd uh, read off your number, or you recite your number when you pass them, and they mark it in the book, and that would be indicate that you made one lap. Well, what I always kind of did is wait until a big chunk of kids all hit it once, and I'd get in there at the front of it, call my number. And then kind of sneak behind the group when uh, when the when wait for other kids to go through and read their numbers. And then when it came to me, I'd go to my number again. I'd get like two laps for every one lap run. So yeah, I totally cheated on this, but that's okay. They were sort of cheating anyway when they uh, decided to do a 25 mile club instead of uh, you know a uh, a real actual sports activity that you could learn teamwork and and all that kind of stuff, so whatever. Baseball fields look like they haven't changed a bit. All right, so this is the infamous flagpole behind the school. Whenever you had a disagreement with one of your fellow students, uh, this is where we hashed it out. You'd meet at the flagpole after school and we'd solve it with fists. Yeah, I've been here a few times. So that is Bell uh, Junior High School. Spent three years from about 76 to 79 here. Let's go over to Pacifica now where I went to high school. That place has com been completely changed since I was here last. So it's going to be interesting to see how much different that place is. I've driven by it a couple times. It doesn't even look like the same school anymore. By the way, the same groundskeeper that came up to me a few minutes ago and told me about the... Uh, the metal shop not being a metal shop building anymore also confirmed that the uh, building where the band rehearsals took place that's still the music room so some things don't change so that was Bell Junior High I hope you enjoyed visiting that that was a lot of fun to see some of the stuff that was there uh, we're gonna go visit Pacifica my high school tomorrow so uh, until then thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on escaping the mouse good night <laughs>